What's going on everybody? Hope you are having a great day. So we are doing a driving video in the Supercharged Platinum Pro for the first time in I don't know how long. So the only way to properly start this video is to let her rip a little bit, right? where she gets faster every single day I drive her. But good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. Happy Daytona Day to you. If you are a NASCAR fan, this is your Christmas morning, the day of the Daytona 500. I am extremely excited, and that is why you are getting a video so early in the day. Now, today's video topic is something I've been thinking about for a very long time. I'm gonna give you a few channel secrets about what I planned on doing, what I plan on doing, and of course, you will have your say in what you think or which direction we should go for sure. So here's what the plan was originally. When I heard there was gonna be a 2019 TRD Pro Tundra, my original plan was to acquire one and keep this Platinum Pro as well. Now the two reasons I wanted to get a second Tundra is because, well, A, I'm not getting rid of this truck because I put all this money and work into it, so I don't really wanna you know, get rid of it right away. It's supercharged, it's a lot of fun, and I don't, I don't see myself being able to part with this truck ever, I'm gonna be honest with you. But the second thing was, A, we could have a truck to compare it to a little bit, you know, naturally aspirated versus supercharged. We could compare the, you know, whatever, and this is at the time when I didn't know exactly what was going to be on it yet. We could compare the suspensions, we can compare the differences between the Platinum Pro project and the new TRD Pro. You know, we could do all these different things. I thought it would be great. You know, I'm always trying to forward think on this channel for what the next thing will be and what the next big thing will be that I'm going to do down the road. So there was all of that at first, and I, I pretty much locked myself into that plan. When the TRD Pro came out, um, and we saw some of the changes that were going to be on it, which were, you know, some of the stuff we expected. Fox shocks. Um, we got new wheels out of it. We didn't get new tires, which I still don't, still don't understand why. Just, again, a lot of people, when I say that, I wanted new tires. They give me the whole runaround of, well, you know, they wanted to keep the gas mileage good and everything. That's fine. I'm not asking for a super aggressive tire. I'm just asking for something like these KO2s. A little more meat on the tire, but will still give you decent gas mileage, but that's neither here nor there and not for this video. Um, so when it came out, it was pretty much the same thing as the TRD Pro before. So I started going into the mode of, well, maybe I don't need to buy a new TRD Pro Tundra. Maybe I'll just take this Platinum Pro project to the next level. Now, without even really saying anything about it, this has gone from the Platinum Pro project where we took, in case you're new to the channel, where we took a Platinum Tundra and we added all the pro parts to it to see what the TRD Pro would be if it was available with all these luxury parts. And that was the reason we did this build and we showed everybody you know, about the parts and everything that went on it and the prices and all that stuff. And that was a lot of fun. And then when we got done with that, I said, why not just add a supercharger so we can show people what it's like to live day to day and daily drive with a supercharger, not just the stuff you see from other videos of on the track and zero to 60 and all that stuff, but what is it like to actually live with a supercharger every single day of your life? Um, does it wear, does the fun factor wear off? That is the biggest question I get all the time. No, not yet, the fun factor hasn't worn off. Then, without announcing anything, we're slowly turning this truck a little bit into a TRD Sport as well. We got the rear sway bar. I'm about to put on the front sway bar. We got the TRD Sport LED headlights and fog lights. So we've done a project on this truck without even really announcing it. So the next step could be we could turn the Platinum Pro project into really another Platinum Pro project with all of the new TRD Pro parts on the newer 2019. So that is the second option. There's also a third option that I always play with in my head every once in a while. Sometimes I just wanna put on something a little more aggressive, a little bit more of a lift, a little bit bigger of a tire. Basically what I'm talking about is maybe put on another four inches on the lift, so a total of six, and maybe some 35 inch tires, you know, by 12 and a half, 18 or 20 inch wheel, I'm not sure. Every once in a while, I imagine this truck with that kind of a lift and those bigger wheels and tires on it. Again, not an extremely aggressive lift. I'm not lifting it 16 feet in the air, but just to give that look a little bit to the next level. 
So those are the three main things that I'm dealing with in my mind right now. I still am giving the TRD Pro, you know, just literally buying a TRD Pro Tundra a chance. And the reason is, yes, it is very similar to what was out there before, but I do want to help people decide if they want a 2019 TRD Pro. And the best way to do that is to have the actual vehicle and give you, you know, all the information and the impressions on the actual vehicle versus just the parts on this thing because it's gonna feel different. The Platinum is a heavy truck. It's a little bit heavier with all the stuff they have in it, you know, all the luxury features and everything. I wanna be able to tell you guys the deal about the seats. I wanna be able to tell you guys the deal about pretty much everything that comes in it. Um, you know, how the leather is, how the suspension feels on the truck built at factory. So there is still a chance for that TRD Pro Tundra just to do that, just to buy the truck instead of buy the parts. But you guys gotta let me know what you think. Um, this really has nothing to do with you guys too much, but one thing I'm definitely considering as well is I'm considering trading the FRS for a Camry XS EV6. I really like that car. Now that car wouldn't necessarily be for the channel. That would just be for me. Um, of course, I would probably do a video here and there, but uh, you know that would be more for me. The only way that XS EV6 can happen is if we go the direction of putting the TRD Pro parts on this. But I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do. So instead of sitting on it by myself and thinking about it, I figured I would bring you guys into the loop. So those are our three options, but I'm open to all options. So if you guys have something else, let me know. The one guarantee in all of this is the TR, or excuse me, the Platinum Pro, this truck will be staying. It's not going anywhere. I'm not trading this in for a TRD Pro or anything like that. Another comment I know I'm gonna get, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump on it right now before I get it is, just wait till 2021 when the new redesign comes out. Regardless of what we do, 2021, we will be getting the new redesigned Tundra. So if I get a 2019 TRD Pro now, I will trade it in for the 2021. So it's kind of like a gap truck, really. So let me know what you think. And again, if you're a NASCAR fan, please enjoy the race. I'm sorry in advance if you're not an Eric Jones fan because he's totally gonna win, baby. We got the big W today, I'm super excited. Thanks for checking out the video a little bit earlier. I'm sorry if you were on the live streams last night, we had a ton of problems with crashing. Come to find out, this was not a Tundra Dude 34 channel issue. This was actually a global issue. A lot of people were having issues all over YouTube with their live streams and their channels yesterday and the day before. So it wasn't me and I apologize. But if you wanna see the live stream from yesterday, go under this video. There are actually two different live streams. You'll see one that's 19 minutes and another one that's an hour. The 19 minute one is the first one and the hour is the second one. So please enjoy. We answered a lot of questions last night. We had a good topic going on and everything. So go check that out and we will do a live stream sometime early this week. But until then, guys, have a great Sunday. Thank you for checking in. I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. I almost forgot to say my line. If you guys have any comments or questions, Twitter and Instagram at TundraDude34, or you can email me at TundraDude34 at gmail.com. Now you guys can have a good day. See you later.